Hey everyone, welcome to our Roblox Speed Simulator series. Um, this is part, I believe, I think it's nine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's nine. Might not be, I don't know. Lost count now. Um, off camera, I did some work on the thing uh, from our original episode where we were doing decoration. Not a lot. Today we're going to be working on making like coins and coin and a coin exchange system where you can exchange strength for coins. You'll see. Well, no, not strength. Sorry, we're not making a weightlifting simulator. I could do a series on that in the future. Future, we'll see. Um, you can exchange points. Sorry for coins, which then you'll be able to spend on the shop, which we're going to do upgrades in a few episodes of time. Anyway. Let's get started. So, we're going to start by simply just making a building. So, we're going to grab our shop here. And all we're going to do is duplicate it and make another building where you can exchange. Um, obviously, my shop has no decoration. It's just a solid colour. But that's because, you know, decoration, that's your own um, imagination there. I can't control that. I could give you a tutorial on how to make something like a shop, but... For now, mine are just going to be blocks, because I'm not too fussed about decoration. Um, I'm now going to just move this to the side, over here. Um, that'll do. Now, I'm going to go to View, and then I'm going to click Properties. Um, sorry if my computer's being a bit slow as well. I said it's pretty much every video I make, but I, I did just load up my laptop, to be fair. I'm actually saving up for a computer, and all I need now is a graphics card. I'm trying to get hold of an RTX 3060 Ti, but it's very hard at the moment because they're sold out everywhere. But um, yeah, that that's not part of the video. So you can go to your color here, click on color, and you can change this. Um, I'm thinking about setting up um proper Drupal Studios website and stuff. I'm going to make this one red, I reckon. As I say, these are going to be terrible. You make yours as good as you think. <clears throat> yeah, as I say, I'm, th I'm thinking about making a diff, a like proper website for Drupal Studios, but obviously it's going to cost money to maintain. Um, and I won't be able to do that until after I get my proper PC. Um, but when we get that, when I get that, then... Yeah, we might be able to get our own proper website and stuff. Where you lot will then be able to find all our videos all on a website. It's going to be pretty good. But let's get back to the base of the video. Right now, just ignore what I'm doing. I'm just making a little path. Although, before I continue, uh, go to your open shop. Duplicate it. Bring it over here. And now, you know what? Just for fun. I'm trying to center a bit. That one is red for a blue building. So, we'll make this blue for a red building. So why not? Um, let's click OK. Yep, cool. And now I'm just gonna do this path here. Obviously, if you don't have paths, you don't need to do this. Rotate. And by the way, if you want to rotate like I am, just tick this box under Model and choose how many degrees you want to rotate at a time. And yeah, you can adjust that. Anyway, I want to go about there. I'm not gonna. I'm not trying too much to make everything perfect for me, because you know this is only a series. That'll do. Got a little H or a Y, I suppose, or a four. Um. Now what we're going to do, I'm just going to click off that, um, we can get to work on the actual script side of things. So this second open shop we've made here, make sure you're selecting the right one, you can press F to go up to it. We're going to rename this by pressing F2 or right click and rename. And we'll call this op um, Exchange Coins. Now I will show you, uh, I've got... Um, my actual main project. This is an update I'm working on. It's not actually out at the moment, so I'm not meant to be showing you like this. But something like this, um, a little green pad. Um, I'll show you the script behind mine in a minute. But for now, we'll focus on this, and I'll 
I'll try and actually I'll try and explain on that project in a minute what the whole idea is. So what we're gonna do is because as you can know we've got our open shop which opens our sh shop GUI. What our exchange will do is turn your points. So if you have a hundred points, you'll turn that into a hundred coins, but then get rid of the points. So it will reset your speed and everything, but it will give you a hundred coins, which you will then be able to spend over at the shop for upgrades, which we're going to do in a couple of episodes. Um. And then I might think, and I think next episode I might work on gems, do like some sort of gem system. I don't know. And then in the upgrades, we can make things like give you extra points per step, um, give you multiple rebirth buttons, so you can rebirth 10 times at once, for example. Um, and then in a future episode, we're going to do game passes as well. So like time permanent boost and things like that. And then here it's called, actually that's a better idea, here I've called just called it coin pad. That is a better idea. Rather than call this exchange coin, just call it coin pad. So that's what we'd call it. It's just similar. I didn't think of calling it that. Um, now it's kind of similar to the. If I was to get go on here, it's kind of similar to the um, Open Shop script. So if I go over here quick, as you can see, we also not only do we have an Open Shop wherever that is here, Open Shop. We also have an exchange coin script, um, which I will just copy this quick. Don't worry, I'm not going to like paste it all and be like, oh yeah, copy. I'll explain it all and everything and write it right out. So go to server script service, click on this add button here um, by hovering over it and clicking add. Mine's going to take a while to load because of my slow laptop. But in the meantime, what you're going to do is you're going to add in a normal script and then I'll tell you what to write. I'll try my best to explain what everything's doing. But, yeah, I'm um, not the best with Roblox coding, aka Lua, but here we go. Script here, we've got it. So, once again, what we're going to do, we're going to call this Exchange Coins. And then, right, what we're going to type, ignore all this. There's, uh, if you want to just go ahead without an explanation of everything, just copy all this. But I'm going to write it out line by line and tell you what everything does. So we're going to start by creating... Whoops. Um, oh dear. Just, whoops. We're going to start by creating a local debounce. Although we actually don't need to make that local. We're going to start by making a debounce uh, variable. Which we're going to start by equaling false. Um, what debounce means in code... Uh, um, and like lower and so basically in most programs what it means if if you see the variable debounce it's kind of like a um pauser so say like it kind of stops it so let's say you know let's say you click a button but you want to wait five seconds before they click it again you'd say if not debounce then um and then we'll say debounce then we'll set it to true and then we'll click the button um, and then wait five seconds and set it again to false. Although this is two in this example. Uh, and that will stop you from being able to click it within those five seconds. Basically, that's what that does. Um, next, what we're going to do, we're going to drop down. We can actually just get rid of that. Um, we can then just say game.workspace.coinpad. As I say, if you want, you can just copy this. I'm just rewriting it to explain it line by line. Um, dot touch colon connect function hit. And then we enter all of that. Uh, and you should have a bracket after your end. What this is doing is saying when this coin pad, make sure this dot coin pad is the exact same name as whatever your coin pad here is. Um, and what we're saying is when that's touched by the player, like one of the player's parts of touching it, we'll, we'll basically then create a function. Um, get it and then we're creating like a little uh i guess say argument here and we're getting the player the player who touched it, the part of the player that touched it we're calling here and now what we'll do we'll say um in here we'll say if not debounce then um and this is basically and then we'll say deb debounce equals true and then what this is basically doing is it's saying if the debounce is false, so basically, if you can do this, if there's no, if like you're available to be able to do this, then we will do it basically. But we're going to set it to true. 
Um, so then they can't do it straight after. And they'll say if game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent. But then I'm going to be trying to explain this a bit more now. And then we'll say then. Now what this is doing is this is this is saying this is getting the player from the hit. So obviously the hit is actually the part that touches it. So say the left leg, for example. Um, so we're getting hit dot parent, which is going to be the player's name, but that's actually going to be classed as a model under the workspace. So we're getting the player from that character. As, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So if I was to go test this quickly, um, you'll see what I mean. So I'll get back to you once we've loaded in. We already actually have a gem system. I didn't know that. <laughs> Must have forgotten about that. Um, oh, so that's gems ticked off then. Right here, as you can see, uh, the reason this is doing, I don't think I've actually anchored my paths, but I don't know. Um, I'll see you lot if you, yeah, I haven't anchored my paths, or not this one anyway. As you can see, um, what we do when we spawn in, uh, if we go over here, our uh, player model is actually under the workspace, as you can see, and the part that touches it, I would print it, I suppose, but. Uh, let me say print, um, here's what I'll do. Just to try and show this off, I'm going to say print uh, hit dot parent. Like this. Actually, no, we'll say print hit. And then we'll start. And now, what? look, look this is what was going to happen. So, what, what it means is because... Because when you start in, you're going to have your own player as a model in the workspace. Every player will have their own model in the workspace. So what happens is when you go over here, let me just quickly enable the output box. Um, when we touch this, it's getting the hit. Um, and we hit that with... Uh, coins is not a valid member of player. Look, these stats, we don't care about that, let's be honest. Um, why isn't it calling it? It's not. I think it's because we haven't done it properly yet. Coin pad. Oh, I can't. I don't know. It's not printing. Um, what is wrong? It's because this is here. Hang on a minute. Um, so let me cut this out really quick. Control X. Um, right, let's try that again. Um, so what's going to happen is when we touch it, it's going to print the exact body part of our model. It's just printed shop. I don't know why it's just printed shop. All right, let's go tap it. Um, And it's not printing. What's the problem now? I think it's because it's. Don't know. Who knows anymore? Well, either way, basically, if you're touching it with your right leg, um, it's getting. What it's going to do is it's going to get your. The part. So let's say left. Say right foot here touches it. It's going to get the dot parent, which is your player model. And then the game is getting the character from that player model. Which your actual character is under players, and that's how that's that's what that line does. Um, anyway, enough of that. Let's get back to what we're actually doing. So obviously, we've just done all this. So let's just clear that. Um, we can get rid of this print thing now. We don't need it. Now we'll say local player or plr equals game dot players colon get player from character. And hit dot parent. Now this is basically just turning this exact thing we got here, but into a variable, so we don't have to keep typing this out every time. Now we'll say player dot leader stats dot coins dot value. We have not made that yet, but we're going to in a minute. Plus equals player dot leader stats dot points dot value. Uh, I didn't mean to put a hashtag there. And then we um, we obviously need to set this to zero now. So we'll say 
player dot leader stats dot points dot value equals zero. And we'll leave it end now because we can end that if statement. Then we'll say wait. Um, yeah, no, that's right. We'll say wait two seconds and then debounce equals false. So then they can press it again. Right now we actually need to go make the coins thing. So we'll close that. I've got two things here called shop. I'm going to call this exchange shop. Um, right now we open up our leader stat script. And we'll copy this bottom one. As I say, the reason all these are called points is just easier for saving. This is going to be our coins here. Name is going to be coins. Uh, value zero. And then leader stats. Awesome. Um... Now start now we need to go to our data store and save it. So we'll say local save value four equals player dot leader stats dot uh, coin coins um save value four whoops uh, value four dot value equals get saved four numbers for saving and then here we'll say comma save value four dot value and then we'll say down here we gotta just do comma player dot leader stats dot coins dot value now we should be able to save that as well which is pretty cool um that should basically be everything let's give this a go I don't think we need any replicated storage. I'm not sure. Let me have a look at the script. Um, nope. Awesome. So let's press F5. Get in. Uh, by the way, I do plan to have a video of this like every week. Hopefully every Sunday I want to do a new video on this. But Because um, this series is remarkably shorter than the scratch one that we've got. So this one will be... Let's take less time to create. So I'm only going to do one a week on this one because I'm busy doing the Scratch. I've got over like 40 episodes planned on the Scratch series. Um, <laughs> right, so let's tap this. Um, it should turn our 779 points all into coins. Um... Let's try it, boom, yep, and it works. Um, in the future, uh, if we make eggs, I want to make pets and stuff. So, but when we get around to do to that, um, we'll probably have an eggs opened thing, but it won't fit on here because we're gonna have four things at once. So, what we might do is get rid of um one of these. We'll probably keep them, but. I don't know, we we'll probably won't display eggs hatched on here, we'll probably have that down here, but we can still make a leaderboard for it, and I'll tell you not how, um, when we get to it. Uh, but that's basically it for this. Uh, it should save, so stop. I don't know whether it'll save in studio, because it's a bit buggy for me in studio. But it, if you used to go in the actual game, it should save. And the next episode, we're going to... I don't know, actually... We might work on the first shop upgrade next episode. Yeah, and it saves. Yeah, I reckon we'll work on the first shop upgrade next episode. Um, if not, then it will probably be a game pass shop. But it may also just be like displaying stuff here. I don't know. We'll see when we get to it. Anyway, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy what we do. And I'm just going to publish the Roblox so I don't lose anything in a corruption again. And, oh dear, what's going on here? I genuinely... Alright then. <laughs>